everybody. It's Emily. This is Emmy Lou Arts. Hi, Marie Gay. I still don't know how you can get in here before, <laughs> before I even post the link. You're like a wizard. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Tell me if you can hear me and if this is working. It looks to me like it is, but but I don't know, <laughs> as we've established. <laughs> I just see Marike in the chat. Yep, loud and clear. Oh, awesome. Hey, Rebecca. You guys got to tell me if it sounds like I'm yelling at you, too. <sighs> hey, Morgan. I got to assign my sheriff weasels. <laughs> Keep out the riffraff. <laughs> I, I forget that this is live and replayed. So if you've never been here before, I'm Emily. <laughs> and this is Emmy Lou Arts. And this is a live coffee chat. And we just hang out and talk about stuff. And <laughs> if that sounds fun, then stick around. <laughs> oh, we already got one. Hey, Lori. Morgan, are you still assigned as a as a person? As a moderator? It's hard for me to keep up with everybody. Hi, Galena. Hey. Oh, thank you, Marike. You got him. Oh, hello from Germany. Hey, Courtney. Link is in the Facebook group. God, you guys are amazing. <laughs> Gotta get out those crazies. How can I be a stupid bitch when I just started two seconds ago? <laughs> Justin, that was not very nice of you. <laughs> oh, hello, Bewitched. Hello from Scotland. Ooh. There should be a blue wrench by your name. Okay, let me try and fix that. Uh, just a second. I don't know why my... <sighs> Hang in with me, guys. I'm... Just a second. Oh, okay, here we go. Here's where I can find the people. Morgan. Uh, when I try and click on your name, it scrolls so fast that I can't, it like doesn't pop up. You know what I mean? Does that make any sense? Add moderator. Okay, tell me if that... Okay, Morgan, I think you're a moderator now. Oh, there's 34 people. Thanks, guys. Hey, Jacqueline. Hey, Silvana. Tiffany. Anita. Hey, Galena. Thank you for already... Oh, scientist plans. Hi. <laughs> hey, JT. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to like the stream because I think that makes it, you know, get seen so people don't forget. <laughs> hey, Kimberly. Hey, from Rhode Island. You guys, I'm drinking some iced coffee today. Not normally my jam. But I don't. Uh... Oh, it makes it pop up sooner. Okay, cool. Hey, Lisa. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I, I don't um, have anything planned. I thought maybe we could do a Q&A style thing because uh, I've never done one of those and I see people do them all the time. Um, Europe in the house. He's the house. You guys, I'm such a dork. <laughs> Or we don't have to do a Q&A. I'm not on the Facebook group, so I just refreshed the YouTube page. 
I hope that the link, it should come up on, on my page. If you're subscribed, it should show up maybe. Maybe I can journal and do the Q&A. Absolutely. You guys, I'm having, I'm having a crisis. Like I just feel like, <laughs> but you're a funny dork. Thank God. <laughs> uh, um, I just feel like I have, I don't know. When I'm in my journal, I feel like I'm catching up for days and days and days worth because I just have no desire to be in it right now. I don't know why. <laughs> Melissa, you rushed back from Sam's Club. <laughs> Thank you. I feel bad that I stole away a, a Sam's Club or Costco browse from you. It's my favorite. <laughs> You retired your Hobonichi Galena. Were you not feeling it? Hello from California. Dr. Bennett. Is that Dr. Bennett? I, I don't know. Hey, Sharon. Dorks unite. Amazing. Yes. <laughs> Obviously. Journal prompts. Oh, hello. Yes, you did make it. Yeah, I don't know. It just has its hits like that. Yeah, there's been, I don't know, like, I don't know, guys. And I feel so bad. I don't want to let you down. Um, so that's why I thought, <laughs> I don't like my elderly hair up like this, but I didn't wash it. <laughs> if I took it down, you would be like, oh my God. <laughs> I think there's things living in it now. <laughs> yeah, just not feeling the energy. I, I don't, I don't know. I, I feel like, and I feel like I'm just doing the same things over and over, you know? I did catch your last message. <laughs> It, there could be bees. There could be bugs. There could be bees. I don't know. <laughs> There's a hell of a lot of dry shampoo. I know that. <laughs> Rebecca, my back is, I think my back is better. Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like maybe it's not my back and maybe it's something else. I don't know. <laughs> When I went to the, the doctor, I was like, I feel like something is wrong between here and like here. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but something's not right. But I don't know. I put on my, uh, my $2 blue light glasses. I thought maybe it would distract from, from this. <laughs> I, our part, our mattress is not that old, so I don't know. Um, so I think when I, when I announced the Q&A thing, I really, no one really posted any Qs <laughs> for me to respond in any As. So I do need to do a voiceover because I just decorated my, um, like weeks and weeks. This is going to be a sneak peek for you guys, I guess. Um, I mean, Morgan, it is better. It does feel better. Now it just feels like, I don't know, like a weird pressure or something. <laughs> yeah, I won't get into it. It's weird. <laughs> um, You left a weird cue. Um, what do I love most about Hobonichi? Oh my gosh, I don't know. I think, I think first what I loved about Hobonichi was the covers. <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but the uh, the covers are what got me originally. Like the 
fabric covers and then the plastic over them. I just, something about it really sucked me in. I loved the aesthetic of it. I, that's what I'm starting to wonder, Marie Gay. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder. I have not gone to a Cairo. Oh man, I, hey Amanda. Um, Oh gosh. I have not used Astology. And yeah, the Hobonichi covers I think are what got me into Hobonichi. And I know that sounds silly, but like I just loved the look of them. And I think I watched uh who originally got me into Hobonichi. I don't even know. It might be um Oh, it's been so long ago. I don't even know. Um, who was, a, who loved Hobonichi more than anything? Uh, and then she hasn't posted in a long time. I'm blanking. I've told you, uh, we've mentioned her before and wondered if she was okay. You guys have to remind me. I think she's Canadian, possibly. Melanie. I don't know if it's, I don't, oh, um, she had the dog. Um, oh, um, uh, yes, there is so many, but um, uh, humble, humble Chan. Yes, in scientist plans, <laughs> she's amazing with Hobonichi. Yes, humble Chan. I think that. I would, I saw a bunch of her, um, like her journaling, I think, and her unboxings and stuff. Just like, I loved, yeah, I loved seeing all of her stuff. And she was just the sweetest spirit. And I mean, it still is. I, I haven't seen a video in a while, so I'm not sure. But I think that was it. But if somebody asked me how I originally got into journaling, I will give you one guess. It is the queen of YouTube journaling from like 2016. She got us all into journaling, Allie Brown. <laughs> With her little like version, or, um, the volumes of her little journals. That is what got me into journaling. You have to check out Humble Chan. She's so sweet, yes. And she was like, Oh my God. I think the biggest Hobonichi fan that I've ever, that I remember seeing. I know. Where is Allie Brown, right? I know. I know she started like her own line of things like washi tapes and stuff. Um, but I haven't seen much from her in a long time. But when I started watching her, she was in a little traveler's notebook size thing that she would journal in. And that was the, the first time that I had ever heard of like creative journaling. And she inspired me to, to try it. And I loved it. I absolutely fell in love with that creativity. She does stories on Instagram. Oh, cool. I have to add her on Instagram. I don't... Um, somebody tell me what is the advantage of moving like from... Mitts also, she's huge Hobonichi. I didn't know about Mitts in the beginning, um, but her journaling is, is so cute, so cool. Oh, she's releasing a big journaling course. Oh, that's cool. Hey, Lindsay. You've never seen a video by Allie. Oh my gosh. I think here it seems like everybody was inspired by Allie Brown. Like this was like 2016, I think, maybe when I first started my channel. I can't remember when, I can't remember who else I would watch then, but I, it was a lot of Allie Brown for sure. Um, and that was the first person that introduced me to like different, uh, like art, um, art materials, you know, like the sprays, the dilutions, like sprays and watercolors and just doing different stuff like doodling in it. And, uh, hi, Elizabeth.
So yeah, that is that bit <laughs> definitely how I got into it. Jane Davenport, she got me into Jane Davenport also. Absolutely. Um, I can't remember what I, there was another question that I let's see how I got so what prompted my channel. You know, oh, it's been so long ago now. I think I think it was the community aspect of it, and I just thought it sounded so fun and um like a good creative outlet. I can't even really remember. It's been so feels like so long ago. I don't know. Um, but I also I've never watched Courtney Di Diaz Diaz. Um I know that people love her and she has those little like monster things, doesn't she? Like, is that her Patreon? Um, yeah, what prompted my channel, that was basically it. And then I think I, who was I watching? Oh, I, when I started, um, I had seen a lot of She's Little Raven Inc. Yes, that, that's it. Uh, Cindy Gunter Baldo, I think, like I had seen some of her videos and um, she just, I guess, showed me that it would be okay to like be me in videos. You know what I mean? I'm not like cool or, you know, uh, you know, so sometimes I just didn't know if I would fit in in the planner community. And I think I feel like her channel showed me that it was okay to like, that I could be me and maybe there would be people that appreciated that. What is a Hobonichi journal and how to make one? Hey girl, hey, oh hey, Brie from Documented Journey. Uh, so yeah, I think, I think that was it. I mean, I feel like, uh, I, I, I really don't even know. And it's definitely evolved over time. When I started my channel, I was doing daily plan with me's in a, um, oh, what's the notebook? What's it called? A journal, a, like a bullet journal style planner. Uh, Galena, I feel like was the first one that was there. She was there when I had like seven subscribers <laughs> and uh, she saw those videos. My husband is in healthcare. Yep, he's an optometrist. And yeah, so I didn't know that scribbles that matter burnt bullet journal. Yes, that was it. The bullet journal plan planner. I can't talk today. Uh, so yeah. Um, that is how I got, I would do like four minute, like plan with me, plan the, the videos. Um, plan the day videos. And I loved doing that. Those were super fun. Uh, and that was kind of like the first time that I like got into like decorating a planner. So, oh, hey, Ashley. Oh, gosh, thank you so much. I just love that. Sharon, I'm so glad you're proud to be a greedy weasel. <laughs> Did I journal as a child? Actually, yes, I did have like a diary. It was an Ann Gettys uh, diary. I remember my mom got it for me because um, I was obsessed with babies even back then. Like I loved Ann Gettys so much. Um, that photographer that takes pictures, she would take pictures of babies in like cute flowers and I don't know. Um, but yes, I do remember that. It was like seventh, eighth grade. I had an Ann Gettys journal and um, it's still at my parents' house. I should go get it. That would be a, that would be a good read. <laughs> but uh, I did not journal like through through high school and college. No, through my early um, early adulthood, like when I had my son, I really, like, for a little while, when I had Henry, I tried to get kind of creative in his baby book, but then time just got away from me. So I feel like I've always, you know, been drawn to it. But 
Um, basically, I have always planned, but I have not always journaled. So what do I do when I lose my mojo? Oh, girl, I lay in bed and eat fruit snacks. <laughs> I, I don't know. I have not been doing okay. I mean, I've been doing okay, but um, surviving. Like, I, I can't complain, you know, when you... Some people have things going on a lot worse. I just... Sometimes, you know, you lose your mojo and then... It's hard also when I feel like I let you guys down too, when I'm not into journaling. Um, not that like you need me or anything, but I know that some of you really look forward to hearing my ridiculousness. <laughs> you used to have an Ann Getty's calendar, right? Weren't they the cutest freaking things? So that's why, that's why I wear my $2 glasses. Yeah, right? <laughs> I know. It's crazy. Something stuck on there. I am like a, a real hot mess today. Did not wash my hair for you guys. Um, so yeah, when I, when I really lose my mojo, it's sometimes it's super hard. And I, I've said this before, but it's like, I almost need to have like just one good day. Like, hey, Kate to like get the momentum back. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you're just like so ugh and depressed and just like everything sucks. <laughs> Even though you know it doesn't. Um just like one good day where I like treat myself right and you know, don't eat 10,000 calories. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> um Hey, Kathy. So, yeah, like, I just, that's been in a struggle. It's, it's, it just seems, yeah, like a funk that's impossible to get out of sometimes. Yeah, it really does. Best advice for a person wanting to start a YouTube channel? Courtney. Um, oh, my gosh. Probably... I, this is going to sound like the pot calling the kettle black from me, but like consistency. I think that people will keep coming back if you're consistent. And um, just having your own voice, like, um, I don't know. I, I don't know either because like my channel goes in dips and, and spurts. And I was talking to Morgan about that the other day. I texted her and I was like, is the YouTube algorithm like totally fucking us or is it just me? Like I, it was like in January, like my channel was really growing. And then over a month, it took forever to get like 10 subscribers. And I was like, what is happening? So I think the other thing is you just have to enjoy what you're doing, regardless of who's watching or how, how your channel's growing because, uh, it's, it's not always consistent and it's not easy. So yeah. And just be authentic, right? I know what is happening. Docu Brie from Documented Journey. She has a YouTube channel, um, Documented Journey. And it, yeah, it has to be because you love it because YouTube is not going to pay you a whole lot <laughs> and you're, uh, you're not going to get rich from YouTube unless you're, I don't know, doing something that I'm not doing. <laughs> Absolutely. Zero expectations. Just, I guess, a drive to, um, <laughs> a drive to share yourself with other people. And uh, I guess creating this community is all the payment that like, it's so great. I mean, just having you guys is so great. YouTube pays you? <laughs> it's a big time commitment too. Like, I don't know if you, if you want to edit and do all that stuff, it, it can, it's, but it is worth it. It's fun. And, um, I don't know. A favorite supplies video. What I did was kind of a favorite supplies video. It, it's basically stickers and pens and I don't, I haven't done watercolor in a long time, I guess, because 
some of my pens didn't write very well over it. Um, there are so many people on here in this chat even that have YouTube channels. So if you guys have, have uh, advice and tips, please, you, sh you share those too. Because it's always hard. When you're on spot, I don't know. Um, I think I've always wanted to share, always had that like urge to share too. I don't know, to like connect with other people. Not even just about art, but just about life. And being a mom, being a wife, being just a woman that struggles with things. And this is just got to be a really amazing way that I could connect with you guys. Not even so much about art. Like I talked to you about what I do in here, but mostly it's, I feel like it's a vehicle for me to talk to you about life, which is really, um, really what I love, honestly. Um, if you guys have a question, write it in caps so that I don't miss it, like, so I can see. Um, oh, thank you so much. It is therapeutic. It's therapeutic for me. You guys are like, oh, I, I thank you so much. And I'm like, you don't know how much it is therapy for me, like talking to you guys and doing voiceovers and stuff. It's, it's weird how much I realize about myself and like a situation when I'm going back and talking about it and then hashing it out with you guys. It's funny. It's weird. So, hey, Jasmine. I hope the connection has helped, you know, it really, yeah, it's, it helps me all the time. Oh, you guys are so sweet. I love you so much. Gosh, thank you, Judy. Um, how long have I been working in the NICU? Um, I... And P.S. I'm sorry for that. I feel like in every video I'm like, I'm a nurse. I'm a, I'm a NICU nurse. That's not, I don't mean to be like that. It's just, it, it comes up, you know, because it feels like it's just, you know, what I do, like part time for, so I don't know. I just feel like every time I say it, I'm like, oh, got to say it again. Uh, but no, I started uh, in the NICU when we lived in North Carolina. So in 2011, and yeah, so 2011. Um, and I can't imagine doing anything else. I can't imagine going back to adults. That's for sure. <laughs> Baby poop is a lot cuter than adult poop. <laughs> oh, thank you, Danny. Hello from NC. Ooh, Tiffany, we loved North Carolina so much. I was sad to leave, um, but our family was here, so so that's where, that's why. No regrets. Um, but yeah, if if um, if you, uh, I can't remember what I was gonna say. Oh, if you've never had the opportunity to be in a NICU, that's good because obviously it's not someplace you would want to be voluntarily with like with your own child, but um, it's an amazing place. It really is. There's a lot of hope and a lot of love and uh, also sometimes difficult, but um. Yeah, it's just fun. Babies just, I don't know. They're fun. <laughs> also, that journey, I feel like that journey of, it's not just the baby. Um, like, if you have a 24-weeker or a 23-weeker, sometimes even a 22-weeker that you took care of when they were like, you know, not even a pound, <laughs> um, and then you see them through discharge, like when they have chins and they're, you know, they're, 
it's the most fulfilling thing that I can imagine. I can't imagine anything else. Like, and their family becomes like your family. Like I have, um, you know, I still get Christmas cards from families uh, that are like families to me from North Carolina of their babies from the NICU. And they're like nine now, you know, their babies. And uh, so it's, it's just very uh, wonderful. Hey, Fur. SICU. What is SI? It's, what is that one? Go to work soon. It's your last ever set of night shifts. Oh, that's awesome. A Peds Rehab Hospital. Oh, you guys are amazing. Surgical ICU. I was like, I know some, I know it's like kind of like pack you, but <laughs> um, yeah, it's you're an angel. So yeah, I I uh like I said, I can't imagine doing anything else. I think it's something that if you um if you try it, you know very quickly whether it's for you or if it's not. Uh because like I said, it either is or it isn't. There's really no um, in between. <laughs> oh, man, I love you guys. Um, what I was going to say, what was I going to say? Oh, about my planner. I realized why this has been so functional for me, and I still need to do the voiceover. I've been... Um, I just decorated like up, put in stickers up through the end of the year. And that's why this has worked so well for me, my little Hobonichi weeks, because uh, I don't have to wait to write things in it. Like, oh man, it works so well. It, it's the best of both worlds because I get to use stickers and stuff, but it's functional. Like I'm not waiting every week to set it up with you guys. And then I'm not afraid to like write in it because I don't want to mess it up. So I don't know. I, I, that's been working really well for me. But I do need to do a voiceover because I just put a bunch of stickers down um, up through June. And now I'm a little bit worried because it's, it's getting big. It's getting big. Look at like that's all of the weeks <laughs> that from June to you know, December that are not decorated. So I don't know if the spine is going to hold up. I really hope so. <laughs> what cover do I have on my weeks? Um, I have my um, Naya Papery. It's the um, Mega Weeks that I bought in lilac. Is it lilac? I can't remember the color. But I love it so much. Oh my gosh, this cover is awesome. Um, it has a back pocket that I have some like, well, I don't have any stickers in there now, but I have like just some pieces of paper. And it's the mega weeks, but I just have a regular week stuck in here. And I like the extra room because uh, mine's obviously getting chunky. And then I do carry my little supplement book in the back when I'm behind on journaling. So I wanted extra room. And um I love it. I love it. And she did give me a coupon code. Um, if you are interested in Naya Papery, I would check it out. Because I knew that it, I was never going to find my lilac um, Moterm. I just wasn't. I couldn't, couldn't find it anywhere. Yeah, I've never... I have a Stalogy, um, I think. It came in... I think it came in a notebook that I ordered. Um, hey, AJ. Uh, I love the chunkiness. Me too. I love it. Um, the supplement books you can order on Amazon. They're, I think they're in the accessories section of the Hobonichi website. Um, but they come in a three pack 
Um, like here, there was the brown one, this red one, and this blue one. And they're just these little teeny notebooks. But since the Tomoe River paper is so thin, like you, there's really a lot of pages in there. I mean, and they're so skinny that they don't add like hardly any bulk. Um, and it's cheap for a three pack. I can't even remember how much it is, but I bought mine on Amazon. I want to say it was like $9 maybe. I'm not sure. Um, but they're cool because they're a little bit smaller than week's size. So you can slip them. See, this is how big they are in comparison to the weeks. So like if I didn't have a cover on my weeks, they could slip in my little jelly cover that I sewed like that. So they're a little bit smaller than the weeks. See? Cool, huh? Look at that. I love it so much. Ugh. Knock me over with a feather. I would not have ever expected to love the weeks like I do. Um, hey, Debbie. Um, I know I've missed questions. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I don't know the Stalogy because I've never, I've never used it. Um, the paper, I think, is thin also, but different than Tomoe River paper. I've missed stuff. I'm sorry, guys. The mortuary field. Wow. That's really something else. We are blessed that you do the work that you do. I'm sure it's been hard this last year. Yes, Molly, that's a great idea because you can see what the Hobonichi paper is like before you commit to buying one of the notebooks. Absolutely. That's a good idea. Hey, Lindsay, the crafty gnome. I'm good. How are you? Um, I love, I'm obsessed with Stalogy videos, you guys, though, like the planner Stalogy videos where people set up their weeks in it. Oh, I love watching those videos. <laughs> AJ, I, I've heard some people say that their, their Hobonichis feel different than the old ones. Like they're not the same to mow your river paper. I don't, I have, I, I don't have any idea. Are there different like weights of to mow your river paper? Because some people say that the new one, the new Hobonichi paper is different than the old. And I, I don't know. I have no idea. I love the idea of astrology, though. And the thing about it is I, I wondered if I should not do a Hobonichi for my journal because did I need like the quotes and stuff like that? Um, because it's all obviously in Japanese. So really, I'm just using it for the Tomoe River paper, I guess. I don't know. It's hard to know. Like, would I just be happy with like a half year astrology that wasn't dated? Um but I don't know. I feel like there's something about the Hobonichi that I would miss. I'm not really sure what it is, but I don't know. Oh, thank you. World peas. World peas knits. <laughs> oh, Debbie, really? How are they different? Is it thinner? Is it like crinklier? You lost the bid. You are so funny. Stephanie, are you talking about um, this nail polish? It is that uh, Insta-Dry stuff. The Insta-Dry, uh, I can't remember what the brand is. Revlon L'Oreal? Um... Oh, Courtney, I'm so glad you're here. I'm so happy. You changed. The, okay, so they did change the paper. It's thinner. Huh. Hello. 
Who's this one? Oh, do you have to go, Nancy? Bye. Oh, shoot. Bye, Nancy. I'm so glad that you came. Feels more toothy. Huh. Weird. Yeah, this is the sweatshirt that Addie picked out when we had to have our we had to have our um, spending spree at the Girl Scout cookie store. <laughs> so. <laughs> They're all saying hi. Hi. Um Yeah, I, maybe it, maybe it is something about the the frame, like with the date and the, and then I don't know as if like if it wasn't dated, I don't know. I I might not be as. Can you shut the door, sweet pea? I would. Uh, <laughs> I would. Uh, Henry is watching YouTube, I think, downstairs, or he's out on the trampoline, <laughs> whirling around. <laughs> This morning it was 40 degrees and he was out there in his pajamas. <laughs> Did you ever leave blank pages? Oh, hi, Emmy. Um, yeah, there's blank pages for sure in my, in my, um, in my cousin. Like the months are usually blank. I've tried. Um, and I want to do some more of the like memory, uh, memory weeks. That was really fun. But like I said, I've just, I'm behind and I, I don't like the blank pages. They really bug me. That's why, I mean, well, sometimes they bug me. Sometimes they don't. It's, it's weird. So I try and go back. And even if it's just sticking like a piece of collage that I like, um, I'll try and put something on them. But a lot of times the week part and the month part are blank. And I just use the days, which also seems wasteful. Like, why am I buying an expensive notebook if half of it goes unused? I don't know. Ba -ba 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 -yo. <laughs> I bought the dog ones too, you guys. I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself because they were flipping cute. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I do go back and... um add stuff on there sometimes, but, uh, how did I learn hand lettering? I didn't, I haven't really learned hand lettering. Um, it's more like a faux, a faux hand lettering. I was just, um, watching YouTube videos where people told me that it was like, the downstroke needs to be thicker to make it look like hand lettering. That's, how it's kind of evolved, but I don't, I can't really do it. Love going undated. I know Judy, I feel like it would be nice, but then also I feel like I would be, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I'm just lazy. Yeah. I think you can do whatever you want with your, I mean, with your blank pages. I mean, I have a whole drawer full of big photos, like big magazine collage pieces that are just things that I've torn out of magazines, pictures that I love, um, that I can glue into uh, blank pages. Isn't that cool? Um, yeah, sometimes there's just images that you see in a magazine that you just love. I put those in my blank pages a lot. It fills them up and it's a great way to keep pictures that I just like. I just like looking at them. So um, this tissue paper was in um, a gift, birthday gift. I thought it was so pretty. I wanted to keep it. But I don't know. I'm wondering, am I in a rut? I don't know. Melissa, I didn't know you were in a uh, uh, nail tech. Yes, that's why I can't wear nail polish and fake nails is because it's, I guess, a bacteria thing. 
This last time when I did that experiment, um, I sh probably should not have worn those to work. But whenever I did patient care, I just, I wore gloves. I put on my gloves so that I wasn't, you know, didn't have it bare hands. Um, what do you store them in so they don't get destroyed? My journals? I'm so behind. I'm so like lost in the thing. But um, <laughs> I know. And it's another reason it's probably not good to wear them because, yeah, they're long. And but <laughs> I try not to poke a baby with my nails. I see I took them off um, right after I did that video the next day on Friday. So the 14th. Um, I took them off. I popped them off. And then I just put, I just painted these because I was doing a, a video and I want, didn't want them to look ugly. Do any of my coworkers watch my videos? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Which was weird in the beginning, but, um, but they're, they really, they like them and they think it's really fun. So that's fun. They're really supportive. It's not something I share like on my, um, on my normal, um, my, my in real life Facebook page and like stuff like that. I don't talk about my, um, videos really sometimes. Um, but yeah, so some people in my real life know that I have a channel. A lot of people don't. I, m the majority of don't, I would say. What do I use as a tripod filming setup um, for my journal with me? Um, my husband built me a, a thing, <laughs> a contraption. Um, I can try and show you. It's, I don't, it's not a tripod. It's like a, he built it with PVC pipe. So sorry about the sunlight. So it's like pieces of PVC pipe that are, like put together and that's underneath my table. Um, and so it's not connected to my table. So when I journal and like I'm moving my little rickety table, it doesn't make my setup jiggle. Um, that was kind of something that I really wanted because um, this table is not very sturdy. And so if I have something on the table, it moves when I like try and color or write or something. So I like that it's like independent. It doesn't, you know, when I move, the setup doesn't move. And then it's just this piece of wood in between the two slats up on top. And then I put my phone on it. <laughs> it's a real janky guys, but it works really well. <laughs> and he's extra. So he like wired in lights on it, but you don't have to do that. Uh, he is, he is a guy. He is a guy. Um, oh, I was uh, in the middle of answering a question. All my journals are just on a bookshelf in front of me. They're not in like boxes or anything. <laughs> yeah. When you start looking at things like junk mail and magazines you go crazy and you want to all of it. Oh, hello from Barcelona. Hi. I'm not, I'm going to say your name wrong. Nadia. Um, he, oh, I think it would be a hard sell to try and have him be in my videos. He's pretty, uh, he's pretty private, not private, but he just has no desire to like, I don't know, be. How do I edit? I just use, um iMovie on my phone. It's not fancy, guys. I just use iMovie, whatever the soft it comes with. Um, and 
I like, I don't have like a camera, a filming camera because, um, once I get comfortable with something, it's really hard for me to change because I don't feel comfortable with technology. So now that I know how to do this with my phone and I feel comfortable, it's really hard for me to change change the, the way that I do it because I know how to use iMovie now, like, well, pretty much, um, just because it's so basic, really. Um and how do I do the voiceovers? It's all just in iMovie. Like, it's not fancy at all. 4K and 8K phone cameras. Holy crap. I guess the part of the thing is, like, when I watch YouTube videos, sometimes it's, I always feel like people are like, oh, my battery's dying, or my footage got corrupted, or something, some, something happened with the footage, and blah, blah, blah. That seems so complicated. Like, I don't have to mess with any of that. And nothing has ever happened to my, my videos. I mean, I obviously don't store them on here. I just delete them when I'm done. So um, I don't have my videos stored anywhere. So if something happened to my channel, they would just be gone. But well, it is what it is. Um, I, like I said, I don't have a camera. I just have my phone. So... Um, yeah, start with what you have because I you don't know if it's something you even want to stick with. So and honestly, I've never been like I've never been watching a, a video and been like, this quality is terrible. I'm not gonna watch it. Like if I if I like the person, I I honestly I don't even notice the quality. That's just me though. I'm not a big like tech person. So it could be blurry as hell. And if I like it and I like what they're doing, I'm gonna watch it like. You know, even I can use iMovie. Exactly. Um, I just like it. The phone is just easy. And there's not any like, um, like when I film my video on here, it's already on here. I'm not like having to render it onto the computer and then onto wh whatever, you know. I mean, I know that there is obviously a uh, upsides to all those things, but I don't know how to, it just seems a lot harder. Oh, Jamie, are you here? Hi, Jamie. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I feel like, is this boring guys? I can do something else. I just, uh, it's hard for me to do stuff when you're here because I want to talk to you. <laughs> Yeah, I can't tell, Morgan. I'm sure that some people, I mean, and then people that are like big YouTubers, obviously they want to have nice quality and stuff, but I don't really care. <laughs> A new job sucked the life out of you. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, when, when I feel like I'm comfortable with how to do something, I don't change because I just don't. Ugh, I don't know how. <laughs> it's, it's too much work, like, learning something new. <laughs> Do I use fountain pens? Uh, my husband bought me a fountain pen. Um, Do you hear the cats fighting outside this door? It's a pilot. He bought me this a couple years ago. Um, It's so pretty. But I don't use it very much. I, I think I need to clean it out. It was, um, it wasn't really like my fave. I liked it. It was fun. Yeah, it doesn't even write now. I think I need to clean it out. Oh, there's nothing in the cartridge. Maybe that's why. Um, and then it's got this thing. It's kind of along the same lines with the fountain pens. It's like I have to learn how to do it, and that takes time. And right now, it's like, goodness, I've got so many hobbies. I can't. Well, this hobby takes up a lot of time. <laughs> um, well, bye. Have fun at work. Does it have cartridges? <laughs> do you... Um, oh, I'm sorry. I, I bet there's a lot more paperwork at an HMO. Oh, hi, hi Heidi. 
Um, do I use calligraphy? No, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to do calligraphy. I will do like cursive. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's tough, Debbie. You're doing God's work though. Therapists, I love you. All therapists are amazing. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I don't know. Is this a cartridge? Is that what that is? Somebody just asked, does it have cartridges? Is that what this is? I don't know. See, I'm clueless, guys. Clueless. There's a sneaky, sneaky little bird outside my door. No, it is because Fatty might want to go in here. Oh, okay. And I've got some. Oh, look, it's got. Oh, I think he bought these assorted cartridges. Oh, so these are color cartridges that he bought to go with it. Is that what? I'm so confused. I, I'd have to like relearn how to use it. Oh, did you see Henry? Henry, are you out there? I don't know where he went. Oh, so it's like different inks. You just stick them in there. I love the look of those Twisbees that people show. They're so cool looking. I just, yeah, like I said, it's, so I just pop the new cartridge in. Is that what I do? I don't know how. See, now you guys can see like when I'm comfortable with something, I just stick with it because I'm so... I think I have directions somewhere. I just need to like find them. So what's this thing? I'm so confused. I need to look into this more. It's been a long time since I've used this, but I love, I love the pen. It's really pretty. And it was fun to write with. I think the reason I stopped using it was on the Tomoe River paper. It um, takes a long time to kind of uh, dry. It will smudge. Oh, do you have to go? Bye, Cheryl. Thanks for coming. Hi, Maria. It might be a, a converter. I feel like that's what it is. Clean it first, please. Oh, Kathy, I'm going to have to call you and you're going to have to tell me what to do. <laughs> So that's the only fountain pen that I have. I saw somebody the other day on YouTube with a, hi Kay, a vanishing point. It was like a clicky, uh, a clicky fountain pen. That looked pretty freaking cool. It's a converter. Okay. All right. See, you guys, you know, you know what's up. I have no clue. How did I first learn how to journal? Um, YouTube. YouTube is what got me into journaling. Absolutely. Kathy to the rescue. Like, theme of my life. Kathy to the rescue. Oh, cool. Yeah, you can find anything on YouTube, right? For sure. Um, is anybody else, did I miss somebody else's question? Was there a question that I missed? So I'm behind in my journal. I have Thursday, I doodled the things that were in my favorites video. And then Friday is blank, pretty much Saturday and today are blank. So I need to catch up. Oh, I have a vanishing point. Nick won't touch it. They do look cool, don't they? Oh. Oh, Molly. I don't know if I said hi to you, Molly. I don't remember. Hi. Um, my favorite YouTubers. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's a loaded question. All the girls that are on here, I love so much. Um, but like I've said before, I don't... Um, like journaling, I watch a lot of planner videos, um, like Morgan's plan with me's and stuff like that. 
Um, I don't watch a lot of journal videos. I don't know why. I love journaling, obviously. But um, hey, Courtney. I watch a lot of makeup videos. I love makeup and lifestyle stuff. Uh, and Sasquatch videos. <laughs> So yeah, a lot of the things that I watch don't have anything to do with what what I do, what I like, which is weird. Kids in the craft room is doom. Yes. Well, there's fatness. Hello, fatty. Um I've heard that Lammy is a good brand too. I feel like my hand gets tired when I write, like, really fast. Does Do fountain pens help with that? Hand fatigue? Sorry, my back is so itchy. Um, I, I just need something that, like, my hand doesn't get so tired. Oh, you got the nails? What is your type of journaling called? Oh, I'm not sure. Creative journaling? Mm. Um, I feel like the journalers that are similar to me are probably um, Mitts. Her journaling, My Life Mitts, is kind of similar to mine, but I'm not sure exactly. Um, creative journaling, that would probably be it, yeah. Um. Morgan's journaling is similar. <laughs> what does Fatty's voice sound like? Seriously. Uh, um, let's see. Who else is kind of similar? I don't know. Probably creative journaling. Creative memory journaling. Oh. Hi, Nick. Um, junk journaling. Yeah, absolutely. It's, I feel like it's a combination between like junk journaling, memory keeping, uh, oh, it's, I don't even know what the name for it would be. Cause junk journaling, some people define that differently. Like you're sticking in like actual junk, like junk mail and stuff like that. And then journaling on that. I guess I'm a little bit more selective with my junk. Hey, Wendy. Creative daily journaling. That sounds about right. J um, Yo, Johanna. <laughs> yes. I, that's another person that got me into journaling. I'm glad that you mentioned her name because I had completely forgotten about her. But yes, it was Allie, and then I found her channel, and I loved the journaling that she did. Loved it. I love Samiko Garashi. That's probably one of my favorites. Hi, Maria. Yeah, Johanna is wonderful. I love her, like, vintage journals. That style is so cute. It's so pretty. I think, yeah, I think she probably got a lot of people into journaling. She has a lot of subscribers on her channel. I think that maybe she was probably the first, like, big journaling channel. I don't know if anybody's journaling channel is as big as hers. She's got a lot of subscribers. Yeah, everyone is different. And maybe that's why I don't like, like... I like being inspired, but then at the same time, I also don't want to feel like I'm copying some some somebody else. So I don't know. Maybe that's why I don't watch them. I'm not really sure. I guess it's been an hour. I can answer another question or I can let you guys go. I don't know what to do next time. I feel like um, I'm going to have to brainstorm. I still haven't figured out how to do the down, switch between the down view and the forward view. 
Rainbow Holic, I I love that. Um, her style is is really cute. Scrap lifting, I love that. I I do I've seen Rainbow Holic. She doesn't do voiceovers, right? Is it just um, it's like subtitle kind of thing, right? Is that right? Can I do a journal with me? I need to keep up in my journal. Yeah, I need to. Oh, hi, Zach. <laughs> You're learning Japanese? That sounds really amazing and very difficult. <laughs> I've heard that's like, is that like the most difficult language to learn? Oh, hello, Romaine. <laughs> Oh, I love the day free Hobonichi. I tried to do um, the day free Hobonichi as like a bullet journal type thing. And now it's my yoga journal, which I have not done yoga in, in a long time now. Just journaling. Okay. My green cow. I haven't I haven't seen that. Boho Berry, I love her handwriting. Oh, that was probably another one that got me into trying like bullet journaling um, with that bullet journal planner. I really liked her style. Her handwriting was so pretty. It's kind of hard when I journal, like, I kind of have to speed it up because I would just, it would be so long. And then it's really hard for me to um, journal and, and talk to you guys at the same time. I've tried it, but I always end up forgetting that I'm talking to you and then I'm silent and it's really boring. So I can't, I can't do both at the same time. I've tried. <laughs> Jenna Templeton. Ooh, I've never heard of her. Cool. Yeah, I feel like you just have to start start journaling and then you you feel, you know, you come across what you like to do, what you like the look of. Absolutely. Um Abiding Kelsey Lee. I've seen her name too. Um, I can't distinguish their styles in my head. Like I, I can't picture something. The only one I can picture is Rainbow Holic for sure. <laughs> I remember Mama Lay. Didn't she have that box, right? That was a cute subscription box. I didn't have it, but I loved watching unboxings. Oh, you guys, I have to go. <laughs> I have to clean and I have to declutter some things. I mean, that's what I want to do. I will see if that actually gets done. It's not feeling like a day where a lot's going to get done. <laughs> exactly. I can't focus on the journaling and the talking to you guys at the same time. I've tried even doing that like planning and I can't. I can't do it. A flip through of ephemera and stickers and paper stuffs. You guys are all awesome. Thank you so much for coming. I hope this was interesting. Um, I feel like it was boring. I hope not. Um, I, I really am going to try and figure out how to do the top down and the other things so that we can um, journal. I think that would be really fun. Channel your inner Marie Kondo. 
Oh, thank you guys so much for being here. And I, uh, I'm i going to try and do the voiceover for this today so you can see all the stickers that I just laid down in here. Um, and catch up in my journal. Um, I just like hanging out with you guys. So it's hard for me to focus on doing things at the same time. Um, thank you so much for coming, everybody. And I will um, see you ag again soon. Thanks to my moderators for keeping out the creepers. Um, my sheriff weasels. <laughs> I will uh, see you guys, guys all again soon. Bye. Thank you.